Welcome! In front of me is Dell Latitude 3520 and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Windows from USB on this laptop. So in order to install a Windows, in our case Windows 11, all you're gonna have to need is a USB flash drive with at least 8 gigabytes of storage on it and also you're gonna have to use an another, another device uh, on which another PC on which you're gonna uh, download the ISO image and create a bootable USB device from this USB flash drive and uh, if you have access to your operational system on this laptop then you can do this on, on your laptop you're, you're just gonna have to have the internet connection on it uh, but uh, generally, before we start a mm, installation process, uh, let me uh, let uh, let's check something uh, to ensure that we are not gonna, gonna have any problems during the installation process. So what I need you to do is open your BIOS menu on this uh, Dell laptop. To do this, press power button shortly and then start clicking F2 button until the BIOS menu appears on your screen. I know it's quite dark in here I'm not sure if you can see anything but uh, generally speaking what we are looking for is this storage section right here so you have to check this uh, storage uh, section open it then uh, make sure that in storage section you have the second option a h c i slash nvme enabled and if rate on is checked or disabled is checked then uh, select uh, then check this this one option right here because if you don't do that we won't see the system disks uh, uh, during the installation and so we, we won't see the uh, storage onto which we want to uh, in, in which you, we want to install the uh, our uh, windows system so, and once you select this option, just press escape and uh, then confirm that you want to save changes and uh, just uh, turn off the laptop after that. Okay, once, you uh, once you're done, uh, what you have to do is grab your USB flash drive and insert it into another device or into this laptop if you have uh, an a functional operational system on it and a Wi-Fi connection but I'm gonna switch to another PC so give me a moment okay so on the other PC what we're gonna have to do is go to the uh, search engine and find Windows 11 ISO You'll find the official Microsoft web page. Says download Windows 11. You can see the address right here. I'll click right here. Then scroll down. Then select Windows 11 download. And click confirm. Wait until your request was validated. Now select the product language. And click confirm again. And after that, we'll get the, uh, the installation file, the ISO image, click 64-bit download to begin the download. It's quite heavy, so we're gonna have to wait for it to, to, to download. Okay, and now we're gonna have to download Rafa's program from rafas.ie official website. Open it. And we're gonna need this uh, tool to create a bootable USB flash drive. So it's pretty easy, don't worry. Uh, so what you're gonna need to install is uh, this uh, latest Office version. For me it's 4.9. And if this version doesn't run on your PC, simply download this one right here. Okay, so when the Office is downloaded, you can open it. 
uh, right here in the device section you can you you have to select your USB flash drive that is inserted into your PC if you have any uh, files on this flash drive then uh, first of all uh, you have to move them to this PC or back them up uh, somewhere else but generally speaking all your all the data will be formatted on your USB flash drive so be aware of, the, of it uh, now once the ISO image is downloaded we'll have to click select you know what I actually have the one on my laptop so I'm not gonna wait until uh, this one downloads instead I'm gonna sele uh, select uh, click select and then select uh, the downloaded Windows ISO image and what and right now you don't have to change anything here it's uh, set perfectly so all, all you have to do is click start uh, don't hit any checkboxes here you don't need them uh, if you have any checkboxes checked on this page then uncheck them uh, that's simple click OK click OK again and this was a warning information about uh, data that would, will be removed from your flash drive so now just wait until the status bar says ready again and when the uh, process is finished you can close the reference program then safely eject your USB flash drive right click on it select eject USB and we can switch to the laptop so first of all insert your USB flash drive into the laptop and now let's turn it on and enter the one-time boot menu to do that press power button then start clicking F12 button repeatedly until you see the boot menu on your screen and once you see that select the uh, UEFI generic USB 3.0 option Uh, the for there are two of them in my case I will go with the first one uh, if you want to know my, my uh, flash drive is inserted on the right edge into the right uh, into the first uh, uh, into the first USB type A uh, port on the right edge on the right side okay and once you select the USB, uh, the installation process will begin. So here you can ch choose the language to install and time and currency format. Oh, I'm sorry, you cannot cho choose the language to install. We already chose it uh, before before the download. Uh, now you can also choose the keyboard or input method. Click next when you do then agree that everything will be deleted on your device and click next of course uh, keep, keep the install Windows 11 selected uh, now you're, you're gonna have to accept uh, user agreement in order to continue so click accept and now we're gonna have to do some magic with the disks Now th that's why w it was important that you change the uh, the storage type because uh, if you had the second option enabled back there in BIOS, uh, you 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 wouldn't be able to see the partitions here right now. So delete first four partitions uh, by clicking on each one of them, then clicking delete partition. Okay, we are left with two. Okay, and you are when once you delete these partitions, uh, you you will be left with uh, two hundred thirty-seven 
gigabytes of unallocated space if you also have this recovery uh, partition that's a uh, partition one that says recovery now uh, then uh, you don't really need to un uninstall it or delete it because it's uh, it actually uh, keeps uh, pretty uh, important recovery tools in it so if, unless you want to unless you don't want to use uh, the recovery tools uh, on your device then you can uh, you, you don't really have to delete this and it only uh, is uh, one and a half gigabytes of size so uh, you can keep it on your PC if you do have this uh, partition um, just uh, okay and now, now you can uh, basically go uh, click next with uh, on unallocated space to continue and proceed with the installation process but if you want to create a separate partition for a second disk uh, click create partition and then uh, uh, input a size in megabytes right here uh, I suggest that you use at least 100 gigabytes of uh, space for your system disks disk uh, for your laptop to work properly uh, so, if you want to select, uh, create a separate disk, then only uh, use 100 up to 137 uh, gigabytes for it. And here you, you have the sites in megabytes. Uh, so, let's say 137,000 uh, megabytes. Uh, this I, I would suggest that this this would be the maximum size if you also have this much uh, available space like uh, 237 gigabytes in my case then only go with uh, this much uh, storage okay so if you want to create a separate disk click apply if you don't just cancel and select unlocated space click next and the windows will be installed onto this unallocated space now click install to confirm and then just wait until your windows is installed on your PC and now the installation process is complete uh, you simply have to go through the setup process now uh, you don't even have to download any touchpad drivers thankfully so you can use touchpad for completing the setup process on this PC it's actually great uh, if you need some help on your way then check out our setup video on our channel and for this video that will be all so thank you for watching it if you liked it consider subscribing to our channel leave us a like in the comment below and I'll see you in the next one